It's time to go. Aphrodite. Eagle. Crystal. This is Big Brother Eviction number four, coming to you live from Dreamworld. Here's your host, Gretel Colleen. voting techniques of three evictees and we evict our fourth housemate but first let me say that some of you have fallen into the ridiculous habit of voting for whichever housemate appears most prominently in a week of daily shows and quite frankly we are sick of it our question to you is are you thinking clearly because if someone dominates the Daily Show, they do so because they are interesting. Does this not therefore mean they should stay in the house for as long as possible and not be booted out? We put it to you that you should be keeping the dominant characters in and voting the people who are not even a blip on your emotional radar and in closing, let us say, in fact, if you've got a pen, write it down. Keep the housemates you love. Keep the housemates you love to hate. Now, on to business. Who will be voted out tonight? Yeah. Will it be the terse nurse, Terry? To give her the giddy up, phone 1902 55 55 61. SMS Terry to one double eight ninety nine sixty six. Will it be the task twisting Paul <laughs> to help him out? The one nine zero two fifty five fifty five sixty three or SMS Paul to one double eight ninety nine sixty six. Or finally. Will it be our free-ranging farm girl, Elle? Mm. Well, to dispel Elle, call 1902 55 55 67 or SMS Elle to 188 Okay, phone lines are open till 8. The SMS lines close at 7.45 Eastern Standard Time. Voting has already closed in Western Australia, the Northern Territory and South Australia, but it's still open for everyone else, and if pain persists, see your doctor. OK. So three nominees this week. They've all been up before and all survived. Let's see who's got a, si <laughs> a skyscraper of votes and who's got a little grass hut. It's neck and neck and someone's nipping at their tails, but who are the leaders and how many votes separate them? Oh, yes. Now, it's been a busy week on the voting front, but what's been happening this week in the frenetic, fractured, frustrated minds of our nominees? Let's take a look, starting with Elle. 
it's, it's hard to say why I was nominated, yeah. but yeah, I had a feeling I would be. Oh, it doesn't matter, Brie. Grain of salt, mate, grain of salt. I'm an open book. You can read me. I wear my heart on my sleeve. Whatever emotion I'm feeling, it's normally in extremes. This last week's been the highly strong side of me. Why? Oh, I don't know. Just emotional and stress. I don't think I can mark where in my journey I am. I think I still have a lot to learn and I know that if I stayed in here, there are so many more things I could learn about myself and other people. And that's part of the reason I came in here to hear other people's perspectives and point of views and mm. maybe over my mind a bit. The thing about the life journey is it's never ending and it's continual. And I know that if I leave here, it won't end. But I would still like my journey in this little branch of my journey in the house to last a bit longer. <laughs> by gargling Advance Australia Fair and may I say nearly choking on the Girt by Sea bit, four-time nominee Terry is so used to the threat of eviction she's actually started to see it as a positive. It's really good to know that, that there are people out there that are supporting me. This week it's the same again, you just don't know, you just got to hope for the best. Terry. I expected to be nominated for the fourth time and I actually expect to keep getting nominated every single week. One week at a time, it's another week. I thought by changing a few things that I was doing in the first couple of weeks um, might help, but obviously it must be something now to do with my personality. But we're so much older too, we've had that experience. Yeah, it's not a bad age though. I am a bit of a conformist. I like trying to fit into a group and it's hard in this group. There are different types of people. At the moment, I feel like I've only got one ally. <laughs> Maybe two. If people don't like their, my personality, it's really tough. I actually do like myself and I'm not going to change that. Oh, oh. Go, 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 go. Yeah! and she's not going to change. But what about Paul? He loves his wife and kids, he loves to stir. Let's see if he loved his second week in the nomination recycling bin. When you gave us this week's task, like I just, just thought, just it's pathetic. Board. There's a massive chance we're about to fail this task. Yep. Because I'm setting it out. If I survive this week, I expect to be nominated until I go. There's a few cheap shots and a few backstabs, but that's, that's why I did it, mate. I've got a hell of a lot more to give, but it's not up to me, obviously, to stay in here. Yeah! You can leave people in here that are trying to be super cool and nice and stay for as long as they like, or you can leave other people in here that are trying to make some excitement. And, you know, I've got 101 different ways to do that. If you get rid of me, everyone will be free, <laughs> and that will be the end of reality. So, I wonder who will get a big dose of reality when they check out of the Hotel Big Brother and land on the eviction stage tonight. We have a new leader. They can have no idea yet what it feels like to be evicted. All they know is what it feels like to be nominated. I can't begin to predict what the public's thinking. I mean, all I can do is be myself in here. Okay. I'm really, really enjoying my stay here, so I really, really, I still don't want to leave. I've got a hell of a lot more to give, but it's not up to me, obviously, to stay in here. Okay. You Vote out uh, Terry. 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 Polly. Paul. Paul. L. Can you only choose one? L.
Welcome back to Big Brother's live eviction number four, where SMS lines will close in one minute. But you have until 8 p.m. to phone your votes in. Do it wisely or forever hold your peace. Now, let's check the votes of three people who know what it's like to be a housemate, a nominee, and an evictee. Would you please welcome Aphrodite, Igor, and Crystal. There's more going on on the back of your dress than there's going on on the front, Aphrodite. Do you want to sit backwards on the chair? <laughs> Welcome to all of you. Thank you for joining us. Now, of course, tonight, you are the people who know the housemates best of all. You've seen how close it is. Now, one by one, who do you think is going to come out tonight? Paul, but I don't want him to. You don't want him to? OK, Aphrodite, what are you thinking? Terry. Because <laughs> you want Terry to come out? She needs to go, darling. She, she needs, really needs Why to go. does she need to go? Oh, God. Uh, for the house to have a bit, little bit more space. <laughs> and what do you reckon, Igor? I'm going to go for Crystal. I reckon Paul's going to go tonight. You reckon Paul's going to yes. go? I don't want him to go either. He has to stay. Well, isn't it terrible? If somebody that you want to stay is going to end up going, have any of you Just voted? Just like what you said before. Oh, in my profound speech. That's right. Did any of you <laughs> vote? No. Y you, you haven't. Didn't. I have not voted. I believe it is not my position. Really? It's, I just feel it's biased and um, <laughs> I've not voted. Being biased is the best position. Now, what about you, Aphrodite? You have voted. I did. Why, of who course, did you vote the again? obvious Terry, yeah. Now, what is this thing with Terry? Oh, I the don't know. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just like used to, huh? <laughs> yeah, how is your relationship blossoming, um, by the way? Awesome. Oh, it's awesome. really good. It's good. Are you still with your girlfriend? Yes. Oh, bad luck, Crystal. <laughs> oh, yeah. Really upset. <laughs> she got me to go Jeez. Life. Now, have you voted? No. You don't want to? No. Why not? Let Didn't... them decide. 55 cents, it's not that hard. Yeah. That's not for the money. Oh, really? No. All right, so you reckon it's Paul, you reckon it's Terry. How many times did you vote? Oh, only once. <laughs> <laughs> like that makes a difference. Yeah, that'll make a massive difference. <laughs> And you? You still reckon it's Paul? Yeah, well, it's Paul. we're going to cross to the house. You've been talking about the housemates. What we're going to find out is what they think about all of you. So, cool. I'm so glad that you've joined us. And you are still alive, which is great. What is life like on the outside, just very quickly? Fabulous. Unreal. Fabulous. Fun. Yeah. Cool? Yeah. Good. It's all games. When I said the girlfriend, I meant your girlfriend, not the car. Yes, I know. <laughs> oh, cool. OK. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us. Crystal, Aphrodite and Igor. club grows every week. I wonder who'll be this week's new member. Let's cross now and see who's got an inkling for an eviction sprinkling. Now remember, quiet as a mouse. I like those etnies. I want to get paired. Hi, guys. Hi. Hey. What are you talking about? Just everything. My shoes. <laughs> His shoes. His shoes. His pendant. It's funny how trivial life can become, isn't it? <laughs> it is. Now, we were wondering, like, you guys have been through this situation where someone gets evicted. Con you know, this is the fourth night. Now, what is it like? Who have you missed most when they've been evicted? No one yet. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think every time someone leaves, it definitely impacts on, on the house. It's sort of hard to measure whether one impacts more than another, so... What is eviction day like? Is it like a day of mourning while you're all waiting for this thing to happen? What, what's it like? <laughs> you're up, mate. It's like D-Day, like um, you're um, dead man walking sort of thing. Is it? Are you getting used to it? This is, is this your fourth one? Fourth one, yes. I want more, more. <laughs> you want no, more, I don't think yeah. you yeah, to It's it. a good day for me because it's different and it's only, you don't know what's going to happen, so I love it. All right. Now, have any of you had any sort of visions in terms of whether you'll be coming or going? <clears throat> no idea at all. I'm 50-50. I'm, I'm, I'm getting my closer. Fourth, <laughs> I'm thinking it's my fourth time. You know, your luck's got to run out at some stage. Uh, all right. I noticed you lost your diamond earring, Elle. And yet found you it. found it. Tessa found it. She's a champion. All right. I don't know what that means in the superstition stakes. Hopefully but we are looking forward to seeing all or any of you tonight. I will tell you at this point, it is unbelievably close. <gasps> oh, no! <laughs> 
So that's something to think about for the next half hour, Thank isn't you. it? <laughs> Thanks, guys. <laughs> it's great to talk with you and good luck to you all. <laughs> Thanks, Bye. 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 Oh, it's so sad. Now, Big Brother has just told me. What did you tell me? Okay. Yeah. Go <laughs> There are only a few minutes left to vote. Sadly, he doesn't speak English and it takes a minute to translate. So if you still want to vote, seal the fate of the housemates by dialing. And after the break, we'll be revealing something else about Miriam. <laughs> chance to win a 42 inch LG plasma screen worth $6,000 which is not a bad prize just for dressing up and speaking of dressing up let's speak about Miriam but actually just before I do that I want you to know there's less than seven minutes left to vote and there is three percent between the leader and the second one so get dialing now on to Miriam Miriam is the star of a shall we say dating show called There's Something About Miriam. And just in case you don't know what that something is, this package should explain the package. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I try to be honest in everything I say. But there is a secret. Hell out! When the sunshine hits your eyes, you find me there. And I'm not afraid of romance. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm not afraid of romance. I wasn't born as a girl, I was born as a man. And I'm not afraid of romance. so far, but what happens next? Well, this Friday, straight after The Daily Show, Miriam will be going into the house and you'll see it all on her Big Brother one-hour special called Meeting Miriam. I'll be chatting to her, you will be meeting her, and the Big Brother housemates will be welcoming her into the Big Brother house. So now the big question, of course, is what on earth will I wear? Now, <laughs> I guess we'll just have to watch and see, which is all our nominees, family and friends can do tonight. Would you please welcome Paul's wife, Jenny, Elle's sister, Tegan, and Terry's housemate in the real world, Jason. <laughs> Hello and welcome, Jenny, Tegan, Jason, you all look lovely. I thought you'd be gay, Jason. Huh? Oh, what, stop playing netball? Do you play netball? Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, I just thought you'd be gay because when a man and a woman flat together, it helps if he's gay. Mm, but no, you're not. definitely not. <laughs> Nothing you want to announce on national television no, right now? No. <laughs> Rightio, so you live with Terry. Yeah. You know her pretty well. Uh-huh. Okay, because we've got some special questions. We've reduced the ten Big Brother questions to three Big Brother questions, especially. Now, Tegan, your old sister. Yes. Younger sister. or older? Little, yeah. How old are you? I'm 19, 10 and 20. Now, what about the pain she's gone through, wondering if her boyfriend still loves her? Oh, he does. Let me assure everyone he adores her still. So where is he? He's at home, very, yeah, concerned, but sitting it out. What, is he scared of flying? <laughs> I think he's scared of the media more, to be, yeah, precise. But he's proud of her and happy? Definitely proud of her and, yeah, happy and waiting for her to get out. Fair enough. Now, what about you, Jenny? This is the second time we've met you. The kid's driving you crazy. I'm going mad. Yep, I can yes. relate to that. 
tell the truth, you may as well. Now, I've got three <laughs> questions. We'll start with you. Shoot. What do you think is the hardest thing for Paul in the Big Brother house? I think missing, well, hopefully, missing us and the family and surf and sex. sex. Yeah, yeah basically. I thought you'd say that. Right, <laughs> yeah, if I can. Yeah. <laughs> but we can still remember what it is. Now, Tegan, what do you think is the hardest thing for Elle? I think from the waterworks, she's really struggling without her support network, no, family and, and friends. Oh, okay. Very close as sisters. Very Are you close. crying just as much at home? I get a little bit frustrated because I can't do anything to help. All right. Well, at least you're watching. That's yes. good. Now, what about you? Um, Tell me what's the hardest thing for Terry. Yeah, I think she's had to do a bit of growing up. She actually uh, considers herself to be a lot younger than what she really is, so... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, in a good way. <laughs> do you get on well? Yeah. Have you had a relationship? No. Really? <laughs> <laughs> no. All right, now, closest people to our housemates, although we know you're not that close because you haven't had a relationship with her, allegedly. Um, have any of you copped flack for the behaviour of your loved one in the house? Yeah. Yeah, I've copped a fair bit of flack. Have um, you? Yeah, with Terry's hair removal. <laughs> When I got to work, I copped a, a lot for that, so... Right, and for more details, tune into Uncut. <laughs> yeah, so you cop flack. Why? Um, they just are curious on whether I'm actually there helping her to cover up sometimes, you know? <laughs> Rightio, this show's G-rated, so careful. Now, what about you? Well, Elle's farting in Igor's face, Ray's, yeah. <laughs> well, Elle had a bit of hair removal as well. Definitely. Um, the skinny dipping, I think, is going to raise more of an eyebrow than anything. All right. Now, what about Paul? He's such a quiet man. Oh, yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> we all know that. To be honest, nothing negative. Great. Absolutely positive. They know who Paul is, so that's what he is, is coming through. All right. Yeah. Now, one person will be evicted tonight, but the other two will be getting closer to $1 million. I've just been told by Big Brother there is one minute left to vote. So one minute, one million dollars. Let's think what our loved one, who will we start with? You, because you're not really a loved one. Although, should Terry win a million dollars? Not a bad catch. <laughs> no. What do you think she'll do with a million dollars? Um, she'll probably pay off her house. Uh, I think she'd love to go and visit her parents in the UK. Okay. Well, that'll cost a million dollars with the exchange rate. Now. What do you think Elle will do? Elle, I think, will hopefully travel and keep on that journey of finding herself. Maybe study, who knows. Has she looked under the couch? Well, I'm not sure. Oh, Maybe right. in the underdrawer. <laughs> <laughs> what are you going to do with a I'm million dollars? I'm going to be dull. Dollars? We'll pay off the home and investments and that's about it. Invest and it. get repaid for all the hard work oh, you're absolutely. doing after two kids. Oh, Good luck. It's worth more than a million dollars, I'll tell you what, at the moment. <laughs> yep, I know yep. what you mean. Good luck to all of you. Good luck to your loved ones in the house. We will be seeing one of you a bit later, I guess. Now, the lines are closed, and we are just minutes away from opening the eviction envelope. have closed. The announcement is imminent, so let's cross to the house to see who will carry the eviction torch out of the house tonight. And remember, quiet as mice, they have no idea you're here. I'm sick of this eviction. Hello, house. Hey. She's getting pink. <laughs> Howdy. Thank Hi. you. Let's get a wide shot, please. Let's see who's in the house. Hey. There we are. Okay. Trevor, Ryan, I understand you've done one of your stupid deals again. <laughs> and you did it. What, what have you got? Nothing else to do than work out dumb things to say when I cross to you live. <laughs> and what today's dumb thing is that when I ask you questions, you're both going to go, what? No. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Have, have you not realised that there are cameras watching you and you're wearing microphones? Where's this going to go? Nah, go. What, Trev? 
It was Wes. Wes was going to do it. Oh, Wesley, you naughty it's boy. It's not true. It's these boys, I Look tell at you. you. Butter wouldn't melt in your mouth. <laughs> Righty, I've had enough of you silly boys. Let's look at our nominees. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> it's you, Paul. Yeah. Rightio, now, is it time to find out who's going tonight? Yeah. Rightio, let's now. get the envelope. Now. Now, now baby. <laughs> this is what we do on Sundays. <laughs> <laughs> Quiet, please, in the class. You ready? Yeah. yeah. Opening envelope. It's time to go. It's time to go, L. Good luck, L. Oh, my best, mate. Great as well. Oh, best, mate. I feel so high. Oh, am I doing it right? Am I doing it right? Yeah, hello. Hello. Yeah, okay. Stay, stay, stay. Well done. Thanks, man. See you next, man. Rollercoaster right here, I can't. Take it, mate. Have heaps of fun, eh? Good to see you soon, mate. Good luck. Good luck. This is Big Brother. Don't enjoy it, Elf. Elf, you have been evicted. You have 10 seconds to leave the Big Brother house. Go get them, Al. 10. Take it. No. Eight. Seven, six, five, <laughs> four, <laughs> three, <laughs> two, <laughs> one. Tears. Oh my god. Okay. Oh my god. I'm sick of it. I'm sick of it. I know. I'm so sick of it. My heart's going. Oh man. Oh my god, my heart. I feel like I'm just I'm sick fine. of it. Elle, our fourth of Vic D, will be joining us here on stage right after the break. You're watching Big Brother's live eviction. I know this is an emotional moment, so I'm we are going to... emotional, Greta. We should know that by now. <laughs> yeah, but I enjoy that. I think that's important in a person. We're going to start giving you a moment to compose yourself yeah. by letting you have a look at the prizes that you've won. So okay. let's have a look at that. You take a deep breath. Okay. Prize number one is a classic watch from Raymond Wheel Geneva. Prize number two is from Herbal Essences. It's a luxurious seven-night holiday for two at Numea's Le Pacific Hotel. Courtesy of Zuji.com.au, your online travel guru and new fruit fusions. Prize number three is from 3Mobile. Not one, but two LG video mobile phones so that you and a friend can watch all the live action from the Big Brother house. Nice. Now, there is 
you're beautiful. Watch so those. Slip that on. Isn't Thank that lovely? You. And here are your two, three phones. What? Two of them? I know. You give them to someone, you know, share them and gas bag along okay. and along and along. I do just the same. Now, let's have a look. We'll start at the very beginning. We'll have a look at who nominated you. We'll get that right That's out. Get, over get here. Over let's have a look. I nominate uh -huh. L for two points. She's been rather ruthless on her microphone breaches and it's cost us the most it's cost us yet. L took $42 away from our shopping budget this week. I had to basically go without some stuff this week for the shopping and I felt a bit left out. And I nominate L because I don't think she's been herself lately and when I try and have uh, conversations with her on a few occasions, I don't think that she's being honest. I find at times L can just be a bit too serious and like over-dramatise things. You know, we're just trying to have a bit of fun and a bit of a laugh, just, just you know, pretty cruisy and she just gets like, takes it the wrong way. All right, any surprises there? Wesley's the main one. Why? But then I suppose I hadn't really talked too clearly to Wesley until Monday night. I felt we had a, a pretty de big DNM, so yeah, but that's cool. We all have to do it, and it's a horrible part of being in there, and we all have to find petty reasons, so it's cool. It's what cool. if they really mean them? I mean, you were annoying with the microphone fine. Well, I, I said that actually. No one else seemed to think of it. I said, but I've had $40 worth. This week I've had none. I did really well, but yeah, no, I, I could say that was an easy reason to nominate me, so that's cool. But look at you, you're so composed now, but the time you have had in the house, I mean, have you got dehydration because of all the tears that you it's have just, cried? It's just so intense in there. It is, like, no one can begin to tell you how intense and everything is just emphasised so much. I mean, it's, it becomes a reality and it's just, it's very intense. But are you like that in the outside world? Oh, yeah. You oh, cry I mean, all the time. I don't, I don't cry all the time, but I'm an emotional person, and it just so happened that there was a few things that happened that made me upset, and I was missing people and all that sort of stuff. So it was much harder than you thought. It was a challenge, that's for sure, a big challenge, definitely. Well, let's have a little bit of a journey through your watery tears. Just oh, a little God. bit of a joyful reminder over here. I'm just over emotional. I'm just a shocking person. I just don't want everyone to think I'm a crybaby out there. You're not a crybaby, you're just emotional like I am. Don't worry about it, girl. No, it's easy to say, Dal. Yeah. It's easy to say. Sorry. It's so hard for me after I've been in here and nominated two people on the Monday to go out there and then be friends with them out there. Right. And I know the way you said it to right. me and it hurt my feelings. I don't like this game very much. Straight on, let me cry. They'd be crying if it was them. Oh, would they be crying if it was them? <laughs> I did a lot of crying, you didn't did. I? <laughs> you know a really good thing to do? I cry a lot. Stab your thumb with one of your fingernails. It distracts you. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> it's pretty extreme. No. When, when mm. Did you want to be that person in I, the house? I didn't. I didn't at all. That's not, I mean... And I just, at some points I didn't, like, um, I can't remember if it was or Kane said I wasn't being myself, but at times I didn't feel myself, I didn't feel. But it's hard in such a big group of people and there's a lot of really dominant personalities, all fantastic personalities, but we sort of all, yeah. It's, it's really hard to find your own space and oh, to determine who you are, Exactly, I mean, there's nowhere you can go to be by yourself. You, you're there with those people 24 hours a day, and seven days a week. And once you're a bit wobbly at the beginning, is it really hard to oh, sort of gain ground? It is, and if you wake up feeling a bit off colour, it's not like in the real world where you can go off and do something that's going to, you know, get you away from it all. It's, you're, you're there with those people and, you I mean, they're all fantastic. It. I don't want to, yeah, you're just confronted with your emotions and people ask me what's wrong. Now, <laughs> you said repeatedly you were on a journey. You went into the house because you'd lost your identity in a long-term relationship, which is how many years so far? Eight, seven years, yeah. Seven years, and you're how old? I'm 22. Oh, my darling, that's too long soon. at your age. All right, now, you've been in this long-term relationship, you wanted to find yourself. Yeah. Did you get any closer to finding yourself? Um, I don't know whether I found myself as such. I think we, our, journey, our life is like one big journey as to finding ourselves. but I learned a lot about myself and I learned a lot of things that I need to improve on in myself. Really? Um, well, before we touch yeah. on that, let's have a little bit of a reminder of just how dominant this thought was in your mind. Over here. I like in my life to yeah. be in control of my situation, yes. but I'm not. No one is in control. And that's half the reason that I came I, in here. But that's half the reason I came yeah, in here. Exactly. To throw away control and stop being a control monger. You've still got to remember the task is still going. Yeah. Just saying, just keep it in mind. I haven't achieved what I want to achieve in here. I want to find myself. Amy, 
Platinum Management. Yay! This whole concept of I came in here sort of searching for, you know, um, to find something. something inside myself. And like I thought I'd have, I'd walk out with all the answers, but I'm not going to. <laughs> I love him. I love him. Tell me, I'm getting a feeling that that you were a bit wobbly in there. Yeah, definitely. If you, if you could have dipped your toe in the Big Brother house, got a taste for it, and gone back in again, how would you do things differently? Oh God, obviously wouldn't have cried so much because that looks. Uh, um. I don't think I would have dealt with it any differently. I don't. I don't think it's. It's just one big learning curve after another. It's what have just you learned? Huge. Um, I've I've learnt uh, to try and accept criticism a bit better, and I've learnt that the attributes that I have are good attributes, but sometimes they're weaknesses as well as strengths. Well, I think you are a star, and we are going to be chatting more after the break. Okay. Chatting about love as well, intriguingly. So stay with us because Elle will be here after the break, and we will be asking her about her Ryan on the outside and the Ryan on the inside. Oh, no. Yes, we are. <laughs> and what's inside his heart? Fourth big brother evictee, L. Now, L, as you know, I'm the queen of love. And I watched you in the house and I thought there was a certain something going on with Ryan. God help the woman that ends up with that man. Why? Oh, I'm not gonna give you sympathy because I don't expect sympathy from others. He's a bloke's bloke. That's his, you know, that's his saying. He's a bloke's bloke. He's gorgeous and loving death for fun and stuff like that, but. Not relationship material for me. Really? And yeah. You're, you're in a relationship. In bits, in, yeah, I love it a bit. And I French saw you me. doing a couple of those lingering, leaning towards someone, <laughs> tucking him in a little too <laughs> snugly. No, no. You don't. There was no, no intention there at all. Well, I have evidence. Oh, Let's have a look. Here we go. Over here. <laughs> to be honest, I think. Out of all the chicks in the house, I get along with you probably the most. <laughs> <laughs> Found it. She left us behind. Where? On the near the pool. You had a Ryan inside the house, mm. but you do have a long-term lover outside the house who is also called Ryan, who couldn't be here, yeah. but has sent us a card. Shall I read it to you? Yeah, please. God, it's gonna wanna be good, isn't it? <laughs> Elle, I just wanted to say hello and let you know that I've been missing you every day since you've been gone. Hope you have enjoyed your time away. Looking forward to seeing you and holding you again. Love you lots, Ryan. So that's <laughs> Yay! Yay! Was that a big fear of yours? Oh, God, yeah. God, Why yeah. Why are you so scared if you've known someone for such a long time? I don't know, it's just, it's... Um, not something that he would do himself, going to a Big Brother house if he had the opportunity. Not if you paid him millions and millions of dollars. So he couldn't quite understand why it was something that I wanted to do. And after being together for seven years, he felt, you know, me going off to do something by myself was, you know, a bad sign. But it wasn't at all. It was, yeah, I just needed to do it for myself. Well, I think good on you. And he still loves you. Yeah. Thank God. Yeah. And we love you too. And now it is time for the Big Brother 10 questions. Yay. I'm sorry I don't have a tissue. That's do you want to okay. use a no, hot water bottle? Okay. Water bottle. 10 questions. Mm. Got to do it quickly. What Go was on. the hardest thing about being in the Big Brother house? Not having your support and your family, like your, your support network around you. All right. That's what your sister said. What did you miss the most in the Big Brother house? Chocolate. 
Really? <laughs> Who was your favourite person in the house? Ryan. No, Trevor and Bree were probably really? my two bestest friends. <laughs> Who was your least favourite person? I can't say you have a least favourite. Right. You have people who challenge you, but I didn't have a least favourite. Really? Hmm. Who had the most annoying habit? Um, well, there's a competition between the boys as to who could fart the most. Iggs held the title until he left, and the boys have been trying very hard to, to step that up. Of course, you on. were the first one in the house to do it on someone's head. <laughs> OK, who was the funniest person in the house? Trev. Trev, OK, we've got to race through. Who do you think is playing the game? I don't know. I don't think anyone is. Who do you think isn't being themselves? I don't think anyone is. What was the best thing about being in the Big Brother house? Everything about it. it was really? Fantastic. You loved it? I did thoroughly Who will enjoy be it. out next week? <sighs> no, Tez is in there for the long run, man. Tez is in there for the long run. She survived four. She's going to be there. Um, hard to say. Um, it depends what happens this week. Paul comes to sort of likes to mix it up, so maybe that'll be. All right, well, Paul has pledged to be even naughtier this week. Oh, good on him. <laughs> Who will win? Um, Trev. Trev, OK, let's have a quick look at the voting graph over here. Oh, look at that. 36% L, Terry 34% and Paul 30%. My nice. goodness. OK, now what I want to do is show you, with all this emotionalism, a little reminder of what an amazing time you had in the house and the joy you brought to us. So let's have a look. <laughs> Do you want me to fart on your head? Well, fart on the Entertain me 24/7. I just find you very. Yeah, just, I think the world of you guys. Sorry, Mum. Stop. 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 It's so hard to say what qualities people see in you. I have learnt a lot, and it is such a fantastic experience. And hot water bottle. All right, and who is your charity? It's Parkinson's Foundation, Parkinson's right. Research. Great. Now, if you would like to bid for either of these, you can get all the details of the auction at our website, bigbrother.10.com.au. And while you're there, vote on which one of Elle's three eBay gifts you'd like to give her. All right, now, what are we going to do? I've got to ask you three questions. Don't you bloody look over there, madam. <laughs> now... <laughs> Three questions. First of all, I want to ask you, do you have any idea who this person is? Can we have a look at that, big brother? All right. Have a look at the big screen up there. OK. Do you know who that person is? I don't have a clue. Is she going to be... No? Yes. Her name is Miriam, and she's going to be going into the big brother house. So you'll have to watch. <gasps> this is... We've been... Oh. Yeah, so you'll have to watch. That's next... This Friday, you're going to see that at okay, 7.30. Cool. All right. The next one. Do you have any idea what the big brother's secret is? No idea. We've all been sitting there philosophizing and trying to decide what it is. We can't make a decision. All right. Well, it is that the money is not $250,000. Really? Mm. It's a million dollars. Are you serious? Mm. It's one million dollars. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah. And now the third thing I want to ask you is, do you know what is in this envelope? I don't. It's, well, have a look. The keys to the Rally Bread Mitsubishi Lancer VRX, which is yours. So get up <laughs> off the couch. <laughs> up off the couch and up you go. Good luck. I'm going to Up you go. Thanks. Good luck. <laughs> there she goes. Wherever her journey takes her, she'll get there quicker now. See you tomorrow at 7.30 for live nominations and I will see you again on Wednesday night for Uncut and of course Friday at 7.30 for our Big Brother special Meeting Miriam. The Daily Show will be back tomorrow at 7 o'clock and don't forget, up late every weekend. I'm going to clean. This is Big Brother where even the losers are winners.
This program brought to you from Dreamworld, the home of Big Brother.